Happy Easter, my little chickens. Don't you mean Happy Easter, every bunny? This year's extravaganza belongs to my peeps, my marshmallow peeps. That's right, Team Peeps for life. Oh, hold your sugary marshmallow feathers, chicken man. Team Chocolate Bunny is going to hop away with this competition. Oh, it's on. Okay, wait. I think we need to back things up a bit and tell our friends what's going on here. Good call, Easter Bunny. Today, it's Peeps versus Bunnies. This entire Easter extravaganza competition is because we're celebrating. That's right, because it's Easter, and that reminds us that Jesus is alive. Now, let's tell everyone why Easter is such a big deal. Yeah, yeah, okay, uh, let's do it. Reese, I'm a cartoon character. Look at me. Whoa, look at you. Reese, we're both cartoon characters. Yeah, we are. This is how we're going to tell the story. Jesus showed us his love by the way he treated the people who are around him, and also by the miracles he did while he was here on earth. Let's just say, Jesus was a pretty awesome guy. Yeah, he was. Everything Jesus did got the people talking. They wondered if Jesus was the king God had promised to send to save them from the wrong things they had done. So, was Jesus like Superman and just didn't realize he had special powers that God would use to save the world? No. Jesus knew exactly why God had sent him to earth. He came to take the punishment for the wrong things we do and to give us life that would never end. Because God hates sin, but loves us, he planned for Jesus to take all the punishment for the sins of all the people in the world. Well, that's like so many people. Hundreds, thousands, millions. That's why his death on the cross was so painful. It was definitely the biggest way that Jesus showed us love. He willingly gave up his life so that we could be forgiven by God. But the best part is that Jesus didn't stay dead. After he died, a huge stone was rolled in front of a cave where Jesus' body was. There were even some guards in front of it. That's right, but nothing can stop Jesus. Three days later, God brought him back to life. So what you're saying is, Jesus is alive! That's right! Some of Jesus' friends went to see the cave where he was buried, but when they got there, he was gone! Then, suddenly, two angels appeared and said, Jesus is not here! He has risen just as he said he would! Just met some angels and get this! Jesus is alive! Hashtag he ain't in there! Hashtag Easter extravaganza! Actually, they ran to go tell Jesus' followers all about it. But on the way, something pretty amazing happened. Oh, oh, I know. They found a giant Easter basket, and it had the golden egg inside of it, full of chocolate bunnies and peeps. No, not that. Jesus met them. Say what? You heard me right. Jesus appeared to them on the road and said, Ta-da! It's me. I'm alive. He could have said something like that, but the Bible tells us that he greeted them and told them not to be afraid, but to go and tell everyone else he was alive. What great news! On that same day, two of Jesus' followers were walking to a town close by. Next stop, Emmaus. As they were walking, they talked about everything that had happened. Suddenly, Jesus came up and started walking with them, but they didn't even recognize him. Well, I'm sure he was the last person they were expecting. Jesus asked, what are you guys talking about? And they looked at him like, where have you been? They probably thought he'd been hiding under a rock. So the two men, still not recognizing who they were talking to, told him all about who Jesus was and what had happened to him. They just didn't get it. Oh, they about to find out. As they approached Emmaus, they invited Jesus to have dinner even though they still didn't know who he was. Sure enough, Jesus joined them at the table, taking the bread and giving thanks. Oh, come on, guys. It's this guy. It's Jesus. Well, as Jesus broke the bread to give to them, it was like a light bulb went off in their heads. Ding. As soon as they realized it was Jesus, he disappeared from their sight. Can you believe it? I believe it. Jesus really did come back to life. He did. He appeared to over 500 people, so we would know it's true. 
Jesus' power over death is good news for us, too. When you admit that you've done wrong things and believe in your heart that Jesus died and came back to life, you can be saved and live forever with God in heaven one day. That's all because we know Jesus, Jesus is, is alive. alive. Yeah, let's say that all together. Jesus is... Jesus is... Alive. Alive! You got it, home bunnies. When you and I believe that God raised Jesus from the dead and decide to follow him, we can live forever just like Jesus. Hold your hop right there. Are you trying to sway our crowd to the chocolate bunny team? Hey, it is not my fault if they realize that chocolate bunnies are the best Easter candy and want to be on a hoppin' good team. Whatever. Marshmallow Peeps are the best-selling Easter candy of all time. 1.5 billion peeps are eaten every Easter season. Can the same be said about chocolate bunnies? Huh? Um, you know what? I say we let the people decide. Let's take a little poll, why don't we? Okay, but be prepared to be crying into your Easter basket when you lose. If you would rather eat a chocolate bunny, let me hear you cheer. Yeah! Okay, okay, that was all right. But where are my peeps at? If you would rather eat a marshmallow peep, let me hear you cheer! Yeah! Wow, that was pretty close. I guess there's only one way to decide which one really is the best. We're going to take this Easter extravaganza competition to a whole nother level. One step ahead of you, Graham. This first round is called Chocolate Bunny Says. Hey, wait a second. Pull your hot wings, chicken. You peeps will get your chance. Bet, I've already got a game in mind. As I was saying, this game is called Chocolate Bunny Says. Two contestants are going to come up and hunt for eggs. One pink, one yellow, one green, and one blue egg. As you find them, collect them in your Easter basket. Once all eggs have been collected, you'll open each one of them and do exactly what it says. The first team to complete all of the instructions will be the winner. And you're gonna wanna do your best on this game because the winner gets to choose which team their side of the room will be. And no fighting. We can't all be chocolate bunnies. All right, my peeps, it's time to crack this extravaganza wide open. Let's get to hunting. 